Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today I'm showcasing the new Happy Mail Stamps and Dies, as well as the Venice Envelope Die Collection. And I've combined them here for this really sweet hello card. I'm going to start by stamping several of the images, especially the postage stamp images, on some smooth white cardstock using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. This is going to be a great ink for Copic coloring. I had to stamp the panda a couple times. A lot of times if it's stamped for the very first time, you may want to stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper first just so you get a really good stamped impression. I'm going to start coloring in my images with Copic markers. They're pretty small images so I'm only using about two uh, colors per shade or two shades per color, I guess I want to say. I'm using R27 and R46 for the red. Once I get that all colored in and blended out, I'm going to move on to the little puppy there in the envelope. I'm going to use some shades of brown here with E43 and E44 and a little, even a little E40 for the little face on the dog. Super cute images. What I love about these is they're going to coordinate back with a lot of previously released and other new released stamps from Mama Elephant. There have been other stamps uh, stamp sets with the penguins and the panda bears and the puppy. Um, really similar. They're going to coordinate back. You can mix you and match them. I think it's just a really fun way. I love when companies build on a collection that they already have released. I'm using a little orange of YR04 for the beak and the feet. R00 for the cheeks on the panda and the penguin, and then the E0000 and E00 for the white areas on both the panda and the penguin. For the background on the postage stamps, as well as the envelope, I'm going to be using the BG10, 11, and 13. I love the kind of cool shadow, aqua kind of color combination for behind these images. I think it really makes the red pop, as well as the cute little critter. Originally, I just tried the BG10 and BG11, but I really think that it needed the 13 to bring out the design a little bit. I like to lay down my lightest color first and then maybe go around with my darkest like I'm doing here blend out that darkest color with my mid-tone and then go back in with the lightest color. So I'll finish coloring in the backgrounds here. For the border around the two postage stamp images, I'm going to use a couple of shades of warm gray, warm gray 6 and 8. I did go back around the puppy's face a little bit and add a little bit more E44 first. I'm just going to color around the whole edge of the postage stamp with my lightest color, the Y or W6 rather. Then I'm going to take my warm gray 8 and just kind of draw a little line around the edges of the postage stamp. They'll kind of blend together on their own. Go ahead and do the same thing for the panda bear. Now I am going to be adding a little bit of detail to the eyes. I'm going to add a little Wink of Stella clear glitter pen to some areas on the images, the balloon and the hearts, but I like to wait until I have die cut the images to do that. And that's simply because if you're adding anything like glossy accents or um, a glaze pen or anything, it can kind of flatten when you're running it through the die cutting machine, which is going to ruin the effect. So I usually only do my coloring and then I will die cut the image and any additional embellishing that I want to do to the image, I will do once the I have got everything die cut. So I'm going to take the coordinating envelope and postage dies here from the Happy Mail stamp set, die cut my images. I'll run it through one more time to get the other postage stamp. 
I'm using a little post-it tape to hold that in place so it doesn't shift while it runs through the die cutting machine. And at this point, I was trying to decide exactly what I wanted to do. I'm going to take the kind of rectangle design or label design from the Venice envelope die collection, and that's what I'm going to group all my little postage stamps on. To add some interest to the red cardstock background of my card base, I'm going to take those same images that I just used to color in my postage stamps, ink them up with Versamark ink, and then stamp them all over the front of my red card. It's going to be a really subtle tone-on-tone -tone look that just goes with the whole theme of the design. I'm kind of flipping them this way and that. I just used the postage stamped images. Then I'm going to take the little XO greeting from that same Happy Mail stamp set and stamp that kind of in the open areas all over the front of my card design. Next, I'm going to die cut my label now from the Venice envelope using a little white card stock. And then I'm going to stamp the, or die cut rather, the word hello from black card stock. This is also from the Venice envelope Creative Cuts die collection. So I'm gonna die cut the word hello three times so I can stack them one on top of another to give that word um, just a little more substance and make it nice and thick. It's gonna be a really intricate die cut word. I really love these. It's the perfect size for the front of a card. Not too big, not too small. So I'm gonna carefully just pop that out, run that through. Like I said, I did that three times. On my label, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lay everything out, see if I like how it looks. In addition to the word hello cut from black cardstock, I'm gonna take the banner from the Venice Envelopes die collection, die cut that from black cardstock, and take an additional greeting from the Happy Mail stamp set. I ended up going with the yay for Happy Mail greeting and I used the powder tool on my banner. I tried to use a longer greeting first, but I just really felt like it, it wasn't gonna fit quite as well on the banner. And I'm going to work to position my greeting so that it kind of flows with that banner design. So I'm working on getting it on my acrylic block. Go ahead and ink that up with some Versamark ink. Stamp the greeting on my banner and then I'll sprinkle on some white embossing powder. Before I ever get it stamped, I did adjust it a couple more times. Go ahead and sprinkle on my white embossing powder now. Make sure to remove any little additional flakes of that embossing powder. And then I'm gonna heat that to emboss the phrase. I love the look of a white embossed greeting on black cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my postage stamps to that die cut label, and then I'll adhere my banner greeting right there along the bottom edge of my label. I love how it looks like just a little grouping of postage stamps and images. I can adhere my label to my card base Trying to get it even there on both sides. I am gonna pop out the centers of the letters on the die cut word hello using a piercing tool. I'm just gonna pop all of these out really quickly. All those little sections. You could also leave them in if you wanted to for a little bit different look. I think that looks fun as well. They're teeny tiny. I like to use that piercing tool. A needle would work as well to get those out easily or a straight pin. I'm gonna take some little dots of glue, place those all over the surface of the word hello, and stack these one on top of another. And like I said, this is simply gonna give them some nice dimension and really make it very sturdy. Once I have all three of these stacked one on top of another, I like to set something heavy on top of them until the glue has dried a little bit. It just really makes sure that they're um, 
placed together and they're really nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to the back of this now and adhere it to my card. Again, just using little dabs of glue so, because I don't want any of that glue coming out fr from underneath the greeting. I'm gonna set that right on top of my label overlapping my postage stamps. Again, setting something heavy on top of it to hold that down in place. Next, I'm gonna take my black and uh, glaze, glaze pen and my white opaque pen. I'm gonna go over the eyes on the critters with my black pen, all three of them, and the nose on the panda. The eyes on the panda, I'm gonna go ahead and color over the entire thing, even that little white area. And once that black pen is good and dry, you wanna definitely make sure it's all the way dry. I'm going to go ahead and go over that with the white pin. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin over the hearts and the balloon. Add some nice glitter touches to the card. Dot in the centers of the eyes on the panda with my white pin. And then I'm gonna take glossy accents and I have attached the Ranger nozzle, the fine tip no applicator to my mini Glossy Accents bottle, I'm gonna apply that to the noses of my little critters, and then I'm gonna go over the word hello with the Glossy Accents, and that is really gonna give it some nice shine and really make that word pop. Especially where that black, it's kind of the black next to, the black greeting next to the black banner. I really want my word to stand out. So I'm just laying a nice thin layer I got a little aggressive there, so I'm gonna take a straight pin and just kind of pull up some of that adhesive in the loop on the letter L. I'll finish applying my glossy accents all over this. I'm gonna set that aside to dry for probably an hour or so, and my card is gonna be all finished. Thanks for joining me for this Hello Greeting card showcasing the Mama Elephant, Happy Mail Stamps and Coordinating Dies, as well as the Venice Envelope Creative Cuts Die Collection. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more Mama Elephant cards you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.